こんにちは。私の名前はジェイミー・ハンソンです。ジェイミー is just one of the sweetest people you could ever meet。ジェイミー is、um, very outgoing、um,、very friendly。I've known Jamie almost all of her life and stuff. I, I, I love her dearly. She was in my daycare, then she moved away, but she would always come back and visit me and stuff. I wasn't aware of the bullying until she was in first grade. And she would come home crying and want to know why people didn't like her. And I told her it's because you're special, that they don't understand you. It may not have shown on my face, but a lot of times in school I was a very depressed person, very depressed. I rarely smiled for real. I mostly used fake smiles because I didn't want to worry those around me. When she was going to Uh, junior high school, which was right around the corner from my elementary school, they had to let her out 10 minutes early so she could walk back to my school without being harassed or things thrown at her. She had her purse stolen. And because I was so different and I acted kind of, I will admit, I'm kind of weird on, my, on the weird side, but hey, everyone's weird these days. The friends that Jamie did have were really good and very close to her. I think it's the support of her friends that got her through high school. I had a very hard time finding a job on my own because I have autism and ADHD, but I was really determined to get a job because I wanted to make a living and I wanted to be a real adult, you know, have a, have a good job, make some money, earn my keep. I was struggling so much to find a job. I think if Shirley hadn't taken me to the Department of Rehabilitation San Bruno in the first place and got me set up with Community Gate Pass, I don't think I'd have this awesome job I have today. Through Community Gate Path, she met Stacy, who is a job developer. When I met Jamie for the first time, I knew this was a really special young woman. She had taught her how to interview, and she taught her how to write a resume, and she helped her in finding jobs for her to interview for. I worked very closely with her for about six months. We went on countless interviews, a lot of rejection. It made me feel really discouraged because I just I felt like giving up on finding a job because I felt like I would never be able to find a job at that rate. But we just kept on、um, teaching and growing and being very supportive. And when this job happened at Uniqlo, when I heard about this opportunity, I knew about her Japanese fascination. I thought this was going to be a great fit. I've been a big fan of the Japanese culture since I was a little girl. I don't know why, I've just always loved it. When I first met Jamie, I actually had、um, a huge walkthrough with some very important people from the Japan side.、Um, they traveled to America to do a walkthrough with all the Bay Area stores. And、um, I had not known what Jamie looked like. Stacy wasn't here yet. So when,、um, when Jamie approached me and、um, started talking to all of my、uh, bosses in Japanese, I was just kind of like, what's going on right now? <laughs> I went up and introduced myself to them in Japanese. Because I heard them all speaking Japanese, like, yay, Japanese, I can practice. When she was in high school and they offered a class in Japanese, she took the class in Japanese for two years, and she can now speak it and sing in it and write it in two different ways. And、uh, her dream is to go to Japan someday. My Japanese managers were like, you need to hire that girl. And I said, I don't know who she is, I don't know what, who you're talking about. I had no idea they were actually official people from the head office in Japan. I had no clue. Luckily,、um, she had told them her name. I was like, oh my gosh, that's the girl I'm going to interview. Our CEO, Mr. Yanai, said that we need to work with the different、uh, the people and with the, giving the opportunity to work with different people and how we're going to、uh, make a team, how we're going to contribute to the society. And、um, we did the interview. I didn't talk to her about my Japanese managers until after I finished the interview. And she was so happy and elated that people actually recognized her for something that you know, she didn't think was that big of a deal.、Um, so it was such a pleasure for me to offer her a job. I hugged Heather. I thanked her a million times for the job. I was just so, so happy. She started crying and just hugging and thanking everybody. And we all, we all cried. And it was just amazing. After two whole years, I finally had a job. Since Jamie got hired at Uniqlo, her personality has just blossomed. She is so happy. She's confident. She is just thriving. It changed the way that she looked at the world and started to see that maybe some of the world looked at her differently now, but in a good way. 
I think that's the one thing I love about Jamie. She has the tenacity to want to make herself better. And it's just so inspiring because she never gives up, ever. She is very, very passionate to take in something new and to try to improve herself, to glow herself up. Actually, we never got so many compliments from our, um, for our greeter as we did when Jamie was in that position. She is a remarkable young woman with a great attitude who's just overcome so much in her young life and I'm so proud of her. She has everything in the world that she can do. She just has to put her mind to it. It was really came as such a surprise when Stacy came up to me today at work and handed me flowers and told me I made Employee of the Year at Community Gate Pass. That just made me so incredibly happy. I was I, I would have cried, but I have makeup on, so. Congratulations, Jamie. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Congratulations Jamie. Jamie. We, we love, love you. you. Congratulations on the award. I'm very proud of you. Jamie, I just wanted to tell you how much I love you, how much being a part of your life has meant to me and um, I think you deserve this honor more than anything in the world and I am so glad that I could be a part of this for you. Congratulations Jamie!